In this video, we'll state two properties of logarithms. These are for simplifying or at least rewriting the logarithm of a product and a quotient. And it's not what you might expect. The logarithm of a product is not the product of the logarithms. It's the sum of the logarithms. You add them together. And if that seems unintuitive, remember that logarithms are just a special proper, um, just special exponents. And this is true for exponents. Products turn into sums. So maybe less unintuitive than it seems. And the logarithm of a quotient is the difference of the logarithms. And again, if this seems weird to you, you've got to just remember that logarithms are special powers. We have seen division turn into subtraction before. So, example, rewrite the common logarithm of m times n divided by p so that does not contain a logarithm of a product or a quotient. And it's pretty plug and play. We've got a quotient here. So we use the quotient rule. And now we have a product here. So we use, I said, use the quotient rule. I didn't do it, did I? Now I've done it. And this really is the sum of those logarithms. It's also going to be helpful to be able to go in the other or um, direction. Rewrite the logarithm of m plus the logarithm of m minus 1 minus 
the logarithm of n as a single logarithm. We'll just go from left to right, collapsing these things as we go. So we start with a sum of logarithms. We turn that in to the logarithm of a product. Now we have the difference of logarithms. We turn that in to the logarithm of a quotient. We've got another rule which we'll present as its own video for the logarithm of a power. 